Welcome to Good Mythical More. What is the best gummy bear out there on the market? We've got the top four brands and we're gonna decide uh, round by round, flavor by flavor. But first, we're playing Who You Talking About. We read a comment that someone made. Who you talking about? And we decide if it's about me or Link. At my YouTube, oh, that's your username? Wow, it's quite a statement. My YouTube. It says, Blank's dad vibes really show when he's furiously patting Blank on the back as Blank chokes on a chip. I mean, that's me. I'm always, you're always choking, I'm always patting, patting. you on the back. Dad patting. Yeah. I mean, that's an easy one. Yep. This was a huge surprise for me. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Because I thought the cheese was going to make it into this one. Yeah, it helped, apparently. Do you remember growing up, our parents, because we didn't know one wore seatbelts, um, you would be in the passenger seat, and when they, you, you stop, your mom would reach over and hold you in your seat. Yeah, stop short. I mean, that was so crazy that that's how our parents protected us as children, until we were like 10. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna wreck it, I'm gonna save you with my arm. Well, I, I just saw the Seinfeld clip where it was like, did you stop short with my wife? Oh, Remember that? Uh, well, because it it's means you have to- Frank Costanza, but then uh, Cosmo Kramer stopped short with his wife. Wow. He was not happy about that. I bet you that wasn't something that people did back in the day. I hadn't even thought about it. Oh, yeah. My babysitters would stop short in a pickup truck. You are a uh, gummy bear, what? Um, Connoisseur? No. A partaker? I'm, enjoyer? I'm a lover of gummies. I am a very seldom partaker in gummies because it's just straight up sugar. I end up having almost yeah. all my gummy experience on this show, and that's quite enough for me. But you've got a but history. I love gummies. Of, of gummies, yeah. My so. wife will get me a little thing from that fancy place. What's the fancy sh uh, gummy place, fancy candy place? It does a little, little like plastic little sh -sh things. Uh, Sugar Fina? Sugar Fina, yeah, she'll go into Sugar Fina for my birthday. In fact, she gave me a little, I, didn't, I haven't even eaten them yet. Haven't even eaten them yet. I'll keep for decades. Um, so tell us tell us about these brands. Well, Link, this is Albanese, the world's best, quite a claim. Grab one of those for me. Because uh, I want to compare how they look like. So just grab, let's, all right, I'm going to grab a, I'll grab a yellow. These are thick bottomed bears and lots of detail on the Albanese. We've got paw prints that you can clearly see. Yep. The, what I would call the classic gummy bear is the Haribo. Give me, much a, give less, me a yellow one for that. Much less detail. Uh, you gotta make sure you don't get a clear. That's yeah, a yellow. Yeah. Much smaller, much less detail. I'd say it's the one that I am most familiar with. It's one you're gonna get at a movie theater. Okay? It's harder and smaller. What's that? This is a trolley bear. It says classic. Looks like they're using the same mold as Haribo, or they're really trying to oh, get no, no. close to these it. Are, these are have a bigger head and smaller Thin, legs. Thin bodied. And then we've got Black Forest, which actually every single bear, if this packaging is indicative of what we're gonna see on the inside, has a actual, oh my gosh. You know what, we're not gonna be able to get into these. Oh no, the forest is impenetrable. Oh wow, these are totally different. There is a. F is that yellow? I don't know. Let me make sure that's a yellow. I think that's. That's a yellow. Okay. Yeah. The yellow and the clear are very close. Okay. It's darker, just like the trolley. It's got mo bigger arms and a and bigger it has belly. A, 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 uh, a pine tree from the Black Forest on its belly. I like that. Okay. So, so they're all different in, in a special way. So those are yours that you're going to try yellow. Because we're gonna try the same kind from each each one, and we'll and determine just, which one's the best. And we can just, um, as we go, we can just start grabbing these out. You know, let's just grab the, a, a yellow from here and eat it. Oh, you're not. You, yeah, I'm just saying you're not. Those aren't yours. That you're gonna eat. I thought you would, you already just had yours that you were gonna eat. Yeah, I'm just getting them all out for me to eat. Okay. All right. So we're starting with the Albanese, which they say is the world's best. First of all, soft. incredible consistency. Mm -hmm. Super soft, no resistance at all, but just enough. It's not like it's gonna fall apart in your mouth. Hmm. And the flavor is not overwhelmingly lemonly. Oh, you do like a wine tasting thing. <laughs> yeah, because I- What is this, I, Santa Barbara? I don't want, you know, four times five. I just don't want 20. 20 gummy bears, man. Gummy That's bears, a lot for a man to take. For me, yeah, yeah, to be sitting in my stomach. All right, moving on to the next one. Haribo, smaller, denser. 
Better flavor. Worse consistency. You got to work harder to get to it, though. The flavor is is much more punchy. I, I don't, don't like lemon flavor. Though. I don't prefer it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with the consistency over the flavor so far. So you you like the Haribo? I like the Albanese. No, I said Albanese. Oh, oh. So you like a softer consistency? Yeah. Now the trolley. That's kind of somewhere in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's a nice Goldilocks situation. I'm re I'm really loving the consistency of these. It ha this the Albanese has more of a Farley's mm. fruit snacks. You remember those? Mm, those were our favorites. They were almost greasy. Almost greasy. Um. And this is kind of somewhere in the middle, but I'm also missing the kind of the size of these. Like mm -hmm. there's just something about the size. And then finally, Black Forest feels a little bit harder. There's, it's also bubbly in texture. Oh, this is very chewy. This is Haribo level chewy. A little less chewy than Haribo. Haribo are the hardest and chewiest. Very little lemon flavor. Just a suggestion of lemon. Yes, there, it's, I would almost call it non-flavored. So I'm underwhelmed. I'm choosing the Albanese for, for the yellow. As I am as well. Okay, moving on to orange. Now all these oranges are actually Now make sure you get an orange, orange flavor. And, and not, there's, very, there's two very close shades here. Get the orange and oh, not I, the I pink. Did. I did. Um, uh, there we go, orange from there. Oh my God, I was just talking yeah, about that. I, it's really bothering me. Now he did, you know, he did it for camera. That's, yeah, that's I just, just want you to see it and experience that's just it. Impressive. We're gonna just, we're going to put them all into resealable bags. Every, everybody, everybody's gonna be okay. Let's just not talk about that. Uh, I'd, I actually love to watch that video. You want to go in reverse this time? Let's start the a video, video where we put them all in resealable bags. Yeah, I'm into that kind of thing. So let's start with the Black Forest. Nice label maker situation, maybe. Uh, Reverse order, okay, Black Forest. They're really scared of actually putting flavor into these things. So subtle. Black Forest is, is almost flavorless. Okay, uh, trolley? Trolley. Great flavor. Really good flavor. Great, not great. Good consistency. Yep. Haribo. Too hard, man. It's just too, I mean, they're, they're too, too hard. Too freaking hard. I'm sorry. I didn't know <clears> this. <throat> and then your, the flavor is, is, is still great, but. The flavor's very good. It's too hard. But isn't the chewing adventure part of it, the it gummy is, but experience? When you compare it to these, like, right beside each other, you see it's like, it's not worth it. It's just not. I would still enjoy this whole bag, but I like the softer ones. Oh man. Mm-hmm. So what in the world? That is so fruity. It's not as fruity as Haribo, but it's the right amount. The, no, I'm saying it's less citrus and more like. There's almost like a different flavor besides orange that they added to this. It doesn't have a citrus punch. It's got more like a just a like an orange aid fruit flavor. Yeah. So we're so, we're both going with Albanese for the orange flavor uh, as well. No, I don't know. I, I think I'm going. Uh, you think you are? I'm going trolley on orange because of the flavor. Did I miss? I like the citrus okay. flavor. Did you go over the um those additional colors in that in the that one? Because they have like that blue situation. Like they have flavors that all the others don't have. No? You see, Ben, I can keep this bag. I can keep this bag together and still investigate the other flavors, which are cherry, strawberry, mango, pineapple, lemon, orange, green apple, watermelon, pink, grapefruit, lime, blue, raspberry, and grape. All in one bag. Albanese, you've done it again. They've got so many more flavors than the other ones. How have they done this? Now I've already picked that out for you. I don't oh. think that's orange. Is there a clear one in here? Tr uh, yeah. No, there no. isn't. Is, is, isn't that it, though? No. No, yeah, that's yeah, yellow. Yeah. No. Oh, look, look at that one. That one's half Hold and on. half. These are so close, man. Look. That's a green-headed bear. A green-headed orange bear. 
There is no there is no clear in the, in the in the trolley. All right, so am I? Are we wrong? Because it says there's orange, cherry, lime, strawberry, grape, and lemon, and there doesn't seem like there's that. I think you know what that and they're white or I clear think, is grape. I think we've got a situation here where Wait, you can't tell. You can't tell the difference like, between I think that, that and that. You're right. That's clear. That's clear. And then y'all need to be to get some quality control in terms of your coloring. This is trolly. You don't have enough color differentiation. Yeah, I mean that's people are getting confused in, in low light situations, which ninety seven percent of all gummy bears are enjoyed in low light situations because it's either during during movies or foreplay. So you gotta get the colors brighter, okay? Have you incorporated gummy into your foreplay? I don't know how to do that. Mm, well, after the show, we'll talk. There's about a clear it. one for you. Cause it, I, th these are difficult to um, to differentiate. Too. But I think we've done it. Let's start with Albanese again. All right. So Albanese white is pineapple. 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 They called them white. I call it clear. Man, that's such a strong flavor. They really. They, I think they're, they're over, doing a great job. I think they're overdoing it. I don't mm -mm, know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That, but it's because it's a flavor and not the actual thing. It's good. The the fakiness of it comes too too strong for me. Haribo, uh, their white is uh, is pineapple as well. I didn't know that. A little too thick and thick and sticky. Thick and sticky, man. So, Her, Haribo is is just really similar flavor, but gone down. Gone down there. Almost a little pina colada in there. Yeah, didn't like it. Trolley. It's great for white. So it's like a white grape. I like that. Is that a thing, a white grape, isn't it? Um, How do you make white wine? Well, I think, uh, I think they call green grapes white grapes. Don't they? Okay, good. Hmm. Tro Trolley's my favorite of this one so That's far. That's a good taste. And Black Forest. And again, Black Forest, stopping short on the flavor. They're just, real juice equals real ju delicious. That's that's their. Oh, oh, you know what, they're using real juice. You gotta go fake if you wanna get the flavor. That's Black Forest's problem, they're trying to be too healthy. But it says naturally and artificially flavored. Y'all need more artificial, that's what you need to do. If we had to advise you, Black Forest, would be go back into the forest and get more artificial flavor. Trolley wins this round for me just because I like that grape flavor. Me too, better than pineapple, even though that pineapple is pretty great. You know, we have an, we have a, a, an audio podcast called Ear Biscuits. We call it Ear Biscuits because at the time, we were like, oh, let's do something that's a little bit, uh, it's a, it sounds a little quirky, but it's also like, kind of sounds like it could be an audio thing. I yeah. kind of regret it, uh, but we've, we're committed at this point. You don't like what? you don't like the name of our podcast. I see it, you know, amongst other podcasts. You know, every once in a while, the Ear Biscuits podcast will chart. It, it, that's an industry term for it. Will appear on the charts with other podcasts, and I see it, and I'm like, who are those two guys looking like with fake binoculars and his Ear Biscuits? You don't like it. You want to rebrand our uh, podcast? Uh, well, I've got some ideas for new for, to not redo the same picture again next time. That's just something I'll throw out. I think we might need to abandon the fake binocul binoculars, but we'll come back to that. We're not going to change the name, of course. I'm just saying, it's a really good podcast, though. Albanese is cherry. Trolley, they're not in the right order in my thing. And then the, the uh, Haribo is raspberry. Ooh. Trolley is cherry. And Black Forest is also cherry. You want to start in the Black Forest with this weak ass cherry? Yeah. I remember where I was standing and what the conversation was like when we named the podcast Ear Biscuits. Isn't Did that Red? Weird? I think Red had just come out of the toilet. He had take, dropped a deuce. And he was like, What about Ear Biscuits? Yeah. Sometimes it takes squeezing one out to get an idea to lodge him. Is that how you remember it? I mean, I was standing at the top of the stairs. And I, uh, yeah, I do believe Brett may have emerged from the restroom. And Link, you were in the the kitchen area in the fake apartment <laughs> that, yeah, that, that we, we all, all used to live in. and work in. <laughs> yeah. Try the Haribo. Uh, and what did you what did you remember thinking at the time? Raspberry. Well, we were taught the other title we were talking about was 
Rhett and Link and because it was a guest podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, I well, we didn't do, do that. that. Yeah, because now it would just be Rhett and Link and Rhett and Link. <laughs> right. Um, wow. Raspberry is it's not tickling my fancy. This is weird. Actually, did I eat the right one? I actually ate trolley, which is cherry. I did not like it. I feel like Haribo has the flavor, uh, has one in the flavor department on this round but I haven't gotten to Albany's yet. That's because the other three are cherry and it's the only raspberry. Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. I like that better. And finally, Albany's, which is cherry. Hmm. They bring the flavor so strong. It's a good cherry. But I actually, you know what? Albany's takes this round. Uh, I I like the flavor. It's it's not too overwhelming. It's, It's strong, but I can take it. It's the only one that Haribo gives it or give any of these a run for their money. Now let's go green, because I agree, Albany. Now be careful, because there's a light green and a dark green in this bag. Oh, really? Uh, and we're going dark green. Uh, let me see what light green is. Uh, dark green is apple. Oh, I just got two apples. You see, I can keep this completely intact without any spilling out. Uh, for Haribo, green is strawberry. They've got, that's crazy, lime. I think lime is the light green flavor. For trolley, oh, you didn't get your, um, I mean, get my Haribo. Here it is, and there's your thing there. Mm -hmm. And then for trolley, it's lime. All, well, and then black forest is also apple. Wow. Let's start with the black forest because they're nothing but a, visually very impressive, but. Well, but they're they're not green, they're not green enough. I want that fake green. I can't taste the apple. Mm-mm. Too subtle. Too subtle, man. This is the strongest flavor in the in the Black Forest. Yeah, it's still not enough. All right, let's go with the lime trolley. Lime. Hmm. I like that consistency. I don't like lime flavor. I don't like it either. It's very. It's almost like. It's too citrusy. I know that's what lime is, but. Now, Haribo. I just don't like the flavor. A lot of people know this. This is strawberry flavored for some reason. Well, because I told them earlier. <laughs> strawberry. But it's the green top of a strawberry. But the fact that it's green makes you think you're not tasting strawberry. I can't. I get, I get it. I guess I experience it. I've got high expectations for Albanese. Apple. Mm. Mm. That is very, very nice. It's not sour apple though. It's not like a Jolly Rancher. It's just like a. It's got a Granny. It's no. It's Granny Smith apple. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a Red Delicious apple. No. That'd be strange. Um, Albanese takes this one for me as well. That that's the. That's Albany's, what we've man. learned. I mean, no, would you have known that they're your favorite? I know. I didn't even know it existed. Just replace Farley's as I've our never, personal favorite. I've never been to Al- Albania. Albany's. World's best. Can't argue with that. Even though their packaging doesn't reflect it. That looks like the cover of our first album. Yeah, it does. Just mail us the Grammy. Nope, not just mail us the Grammy. It, that was li- our first no, album. Was it Second li- album. Live in the living room? Live in the... Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry, what was that? We thought that was a funny name for an album because people would say, what's the name of the album? I'm sorry, what was that? What was the name of the album? album? I'm I'm sorry, sorry, what was that? that? What What is the name name of the the album? album? You see the kind of I'm sorry, what was that? It's us facing off with some gummies, ironically, and uh, with with scale completely thrown out the window. It's scale humor. Scale humor. We'll have more of that for you tomorrow, so come on back. (laughs) To get the Red Link plushies, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.